the Miami Dolphins are set to take on the New York Jets this Sunday afternoon at Hard Rock Stadium. New York has had a rough season in 2021. Rookie Zach Wilson has been hurt a few times, and, when he's been in, he hasn't exactly lit it up. This week, they'll be without their top two wide receivers, their left tackle, and a starting safety, so this Sunday will be another tough test for them. Brian Flores' team was supposed to be feeling well-rested and relaxed before the week was overran with COVID-19 news. They placed six players on the reserve COVID list in just a few days, with four still on it. Now, they're hoping more of them can test out to help them add to their winning streak. If the Dolphins want to accomplish that task, these four guys will have to step up. Devontae Parker. If Waddle can't go, Parker will be bumped up to the team's top receiver. Parker knows what that's like, as he had been the go-to guy before Waddle ascension this season. His frame and athleticism should allow him to beat down on this secondary that's far from the league's best. It would be nice to see Parker bring in at least eight receptions in a touchdown or two to make life easier on his guys. Mike Jasicki. Jasicki has been one of the best pass-catching tight ends in the league this year. His play has earned major respect from other teams, as he's starting to draw some top cornerback matchups like Baltimore's Marlon Humphrey. Because of this, Jasicki had been quieter during the string of wins with the exception of their most recent game where he brought in seven targets. However, he still only had 46 yards. Against this secondary, Jasicki should be able to have a great day and, hopefully, find the end zone for the first time since Week 7 against Atlanta. Eric Rowe, like Parker, Rowe could be asked to fill in for a player that may be out on Sunday. Javon Holland has been great in his rookie season, as he's gone from a bit player to an every-down guy as the season has progressed. If he can't go, Rowe will have to do everything he can to replace what Holland brings. He might not have that ability, but he has the experience that should keep a potential drop-off from being drastic. Rowe was competent when replacing Brandon Jones in weeks 13 and 14, so it could be expected that he'll hold his own in Holland's place if needed. Tua Tungavailoa. This Jets defense has been one of the worst units in the league against the pass this season, as they've allowed 254 yards per game. Tungavailoa, with a questionable running attack despite a couple of backs returning, can and should pick this group apart. His pass catchers are essentially what he had at the end of his rookie season, so he's worked with this offense without Waddle before. He just needs to continue getting the ball out quick and making smart decisions like he has in recent weeks.